Right on, that was Static in Verona with Shivers. Uh, the Roth Mix is off his upcoming album, which will be out September 8th. Uh, great tune, I really love this one. And he, uh, when he sent me an email, he, he compared it to a song off the last album called Odd Anthem. The song is called uh, Heavy Hands. And a little bit, uh, if not, Mike, we can play that in, in the following weeks so you can hear that as well. But a great tune, and, and really, Rob's got a fantastic voice, and I love his mixes, and it's pretty much, it's, it's Static in Verona is, is all him. It's just one man guy. That's phenomenal, actually. I always, I always find it fascinating when we hear these one or two or sometimes even three-piece bands that sound like there's about 100 of them. <laughs> <Just Right. laughs> I find, find it fascinating. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good song. I, I, I'm I'm not really a person that can comment that well on mixing and things. It's not really my area. But what I will say is I wouldn't change it. <laughs> if, I'd, if I'd mix that, I would... Uh, I, I, I mean, you know, I, I would just master it and stick it on the album. I think it's fantastic. I really like the balance. I love... Uh, there's just a bit where those guitar harmonies kick in and there's a little bit of reverb or delay or whatever it is that just bounces them back at you which is so so nice uh, I think his voice is fantastic I think you know the way that his uh, vocal kind of floats on top of the uh, uh, the rest of the music someone once described a, a vocal rider as, um, as like being a, a cork floating on the sea if you've got a good vocal rider that kind of uh, you know sits that's where it should sit basically in the mix and I think he's got that and on, uh, I think he's got some cool harmonies and some cool uh, bits. There's a little bit of kind of oasis y stuff, there's a little bit of rocky stuff and indie stuff. It's just really, really cool. So, I'm personally very, very excited about listening to and hearing. Um, uh, listening to and hearing, that's the same thing. I'm very excited <laughs> about hearing that album when it comes out and listening to it over and over again. That's probably what I wanted to say huh. or something on those lines. I'm going to stop rambling. You get the idea. Yep. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait right on. Plot any minute. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. It's very good. He's a good guy. And that's a quality tune. Uh, right on. Well, next up we have one of our favorite electro pop tunes, and uh, Gina's already took a part a great deal in this uh, this part of the show already, and it's been a lot of fun. So this is uh, they did a poll for this. Uh, they were gonna uh, do one of three covers, and uh, this one won the polls. And then it's a a band that we know very well, a band called Portishead. And they do a cover of the song called yeah, Glory yeah. Box. This is Hands of Blue. Dig this. to the other girl 
of Blue, and that's a cover of Portishead's Glory Box. And uh, I'm not sure the tweet made it on, on online, but I'll tweet it again if it didn't. Gina, wow. Man, Jesus, wow. <laughs> like, you blew me away, Gina. That was that was a fantastic. Gina Ender, that was a fantastic cover of Portishead. Like, really, you guys did it beyond justice. Like, Gina and Ender, man, I... I Wow, I I'm I'm seriously blown away. Like that was great. That was fantastic, and and Gina, man, you you guys should do like like a mix of kind of like we'll call it like a lounge blues, uh, maybe jazz or act, like at least one or two songs because Gina, you did that more than justice. Like <laughs> that was incredible. Like and I'm completely serious. Like I, I really really love that cover. That was an amazing cover. That was awesome. Like. I'm so so pumped after that one. Like really cool. <laughs> I I completely agree with you. That's actually not a lot of people would know this because I've never said it in public probably before. But that's my favourite Portishead song. If you were going to say Mike, what's your favourite Portishead song? Uh, I would instantly, without blinking, say Glory Box. Um, and these guys have done an absolutely blinding. <laughs> I <laughs> know, right? I, I really like you know. To the point where I was singing along, and bearing in mind it's like five to two in the morning, and I can't sing. That's not going to impress the neighbors. Um, but I was, it's just like, how can you not? Um, I, I was really impressed. I thought, as a cover, I thought it really, really did it justice. I thought, um, uh, just the, the vocal delivery was excellent. The way that that uh, those chords were strummed out so perfect. I think it's raking as it maybe me sort of going the strings like that. Um, that. That was beautiful. The tone on the solo was excellent. I love that kind of um, uh, <laughs> sort of broken up, uh, trippy kind of solo. That um, yeah, I couldn't tell you if it was note for note or whatever, but it's got that you know same vibe that Portis said do. And actually, it's a really good Portis said live album with that. I'm sure it's that song that's got. Um, the great version of the solo on it as well but yeah it, it was i just thought it was excellent i really liked the, the kind of um the decks and the way that it kind of um brought that scratching in and everything else and then but also it added that kind of industrial layer and really made it kind of hands of bluesy and that uh bluesy hands <laughs> of bluey um but, uh, yeah it was, it, was, it was quality and uh, I, i'm with you those guys should, should go and uh Go and sit in a club with some sort of resonating guitar and smoke a load of cigarettes and play some dirty blues and make everyone feel amazing because because <laughs> that was quality. Uh, um, I, yeah, I, I, after that, I I really want to hear hear Jesus sing "Give Me Fever." Like I really want to hear. I think she'd do an amazing job of it. Oh, isn't it? That, wouldn't that be yeah? It would suit her voice absolutely. I, 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 can, I can totally hear that and see that. I think it would be an amazing cover. So. Gina, there, there's your Nenders next uh, next card. Do a do a cover, give me fear, please, because I think you'd be amazing at it. Do it, and then we, we we just keep finding. You could just become our own personal covers band. We'll keep finding tracks. Yeah. Like that. We want to hear. Okay, okay, this is a band that could do some, do some pretty good covers. What about? Yeah. <laughs> we'll think we'll think of another one. <laughs> um, no, I agree. I, I'd love to hear that. Um, but yeah, I thought, I, I thought that was awesome. I'm I'm not normally so um, uh, gushy, I suppose, about a cover because I kind of think you know, covers a cover. You, you know, you didn't write the song almost. Is kind of my uh, attitude. But sometimes they're really good, and this was just a really good example of what you can do with a cover. It's like um, whoever that dance group is that did the the cover of Brian Adams Heaven. It's actually like one of the best covers ever because they totally take you know that song just tear it apart and make it something their own uh, in that genre which is which is what it's all about and this kind of does that but because they've got that influence already it really pays tribute really nicely to the oh, man. version. yeah for really sure impressed. and it is literally my favorite Portis Head song so um you know you, you've had to have done a good job to get me to say all of that <laughs> <laughs> so nice one guys <laughs> Right on. So next up is uh, uh, a remix. He himself, he kind of fixed a few a few things on this song. This is a guy again. It's it's all him, and the the name is Steel. He's out of Ottawa, Canada. Dig this. It's a Steel with say. Dig this. <laughs> 